Hi, I'm Alex Granada, Senior Reporter for Education NC. And I'm Liz Bell, also a reporter for Education NC. And we're here to give you the week in education news in North Carolina. As you can see, we're sitting at the General Assembly, and that's because it has been a busy week here. Um, earlier in the week, the uh, lawmakers revealed the budget compromise, that's the compromise budget between the House and the Senate. And throughout the week, the House and Senate voted and approved the compromise, which is now heading to the governor. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the main education components in the budget? Uh, so the big points in the budget that have been talked about a lot are teacher pay. The budget amounts to roughly 9.6% average uh, teacher salary increase over two years, uh, about 3.3% in the first year. Um, and there are also large increases uh, for principals and assistant principals. Perhaps more importantly, the budget reforms the principal salary schedule, which if you have been following our coverage at all, uh, is uh, the current principal salary schedule has been hugely problematic, and so this will hopefully resolve some of those issues. And what does the budget have to say about enhancement teachers and class sizes? Right, so if you've been following the news about HB 13 and class size restrictions, basically last session uh, the General Assembly put into place class size restrictions that will take away the flexibility that local districts have to fund enhancement teachers. These are your music, art, and PE teachers. That was supposed to go into effect next year, uh, but House Bill 13 delayed full implement implementation for one more year. Uh, and so now local districts are worried that they're not going to have funding for those teachers in the 2018-19 school year, starting in that school year. Um, earlier in the week at the press conference, lawmakers said that the budget codified uh, the General Assembly's intent to fund an allotment for those teachers after they've had time to review data from local districts on, on what the need is for those teachers. But as it turns out, that, uh, that provision didn't make it into the budget. A uh, spokesperson for Senator Berger's office said it was inadvertent and that that will likely be fixed in a technical correction. Uh, but I do, I do not have sense of the timeline on that right now. And uh, Liz, you've been working on a lot of stuff this week. Uh, I'm sure our readers have seen uh, things coming from Germany. What's that about? Yes, yeah, so if you check it out on our homepage at nc.org, um, we've been sharing stories and voices from a group of NC teachers um, who have traveled to Germany with a program called Go Global NC. And um, they've been you know, gaining tons of interesting experiences to bring back to their classrooms throughout the state of North Carolina. So you should definitely check that out. They've been doing daily reflections, um, written pieces, and video diaries. Cool. So yeah. And that's our news for this week. Stay tuned next week uh, for more from the General Assembly and from uh, education in North Carolina in general. And you can follow me on Twitter at A Granadister. And Liz, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter at A, um, Lizabelle, L L I Z A B E L L. All right, thanks for watching.